but a lot longer than I thought it would across eastern England and the Midlands. Yesterday I thought that this weather front would help clear that away, but as you can see that weather front has ground to a halt and it really just broke up as well, which meant that the fog is still lingering. Down to the south we've got this area of low pressure and its weather front's giving some rain in the south, and we've also got a weather front close out to the west that may give one or two showers in the west of Scotland. But let's concentrate on that fog first of all. This is Birmingham and you can see the picture I mean, really misty and foggy here. The visibility has picked up in the last couple of hours, but there's still quite a few areas as you head into eastern England where the visibility is around 100 metres, and with it the temperatures in one or two spots are below freezing, so it is pretty treacherous out there if you're out and about this afternoon. What a contrast as you head further west though, we pick up the milder weather in Cornwall, temperatures are in double figures. Well, as you can see, we've got a lot of cloud shrouding the United Kingdom today. Day. Down to the south, this cloud is thick enough to give rain across the south coast, and some of that will work its way into the southeast during this afternoon. Out to the west, there may just be one or two showers, but I think out here, probably the best chance of the brightest weather, right the way down into Wales and into the west of Cornwall. The temperatures today then really struggling where we've got that fog, probably only plus two or plus three if we're very lucky this afternoon, but out to the west, that mild weather nearer seven to eight degrees. Now the reason the fog is lingering is that we've got very light winds as you can see at the moment but as we head through tonight the winds will start to pick up from a southerly direction in the southwest and we will find some rain working its way in as well. So by the end of the night that rain heading its way towards Cornwall then, elsewhere tonight a very cloudy night except in the northeast of Scotland where here it could turn misty and foggy and it will so be chilly, temperatures down to around freezing. But elsewhere tonight I think those temperatures will be higher around plus two to plus six and I think on this eastern side we might see the fog lifting towards dawn as those winds pick up. Into Tuesday, we've got weather fronts to the south and the west. That's where we're going to see the heaviest, wettest weather then. That rain moving its way up the western side during the day and coming a little bit further eastwards as well. Shouldn't be quite as cold, but with the winds picking up, certainly if you're out and about, you will notice the chill in that wind. Into Wednesday, the weather front's still down the western side of the United Kingdom, so some more rain to come here. But on the eastern side, we might begin to see somewhat brighter and sunny weather coming into the southeast. And on Thursday, the rain stays in the north with that weather front. That's all from me for now.